Grade 5 Math, number 42, Problem Solving, Multiplying Money. Emma, Tala, and Bob went to the mall. Emma spent $8.35. Tala spent three times as much as Emma, and Bob spent $4.21 more than Tala. How much did Bob spend? So we have to think, what do I need to find? What information should I use? How will I use the information? Okay, well, we need to find how much did Bob spend. We need to use what Emma, Tala, and Bob spent together. We need to multiply Emma's amount by three because Tala spent three times and we'll find Tala's amount. And then we need to add the $4.21 to Tala's amount to find out what Bob had, okay? So here's Emma's amount. Tala is three times more. Bob is the same as Tala's amount, except it's got $4.21 more, okay? So Emma spent $8.35. If we multiply it by 3, we'll know what Tala spent. 3 times 5 is 15. We carry the 1 and put the 5 down. 3 times 3 is 9, plus the 1 is 10. We carry the 1 and put the 0 down. 3 times 8 is 24, and 1 more is 25. And because we hop twice, 1, 2, we hop twice in the answer, 1, Two. Now we add the $4.21 more that Bob spent than Tala. We add that to the $25.05. 5 and 1 is 6. 0 and 2 is 2. 5 and 4 is 9. We drop down the 2 and we know that Bob spent $29.26. See? Just stacked them on top of each other and slowly, slowly figured out the information. Okay, here's another one. Lisa's checking account had a balance of $156.15 in April. By June, it was three times as much as April. Between June and September, she deposited $322.10. How much is in Lisa's account in September if she didn't withdraw any money? All right, well, what do we need to find? We need to find how much she had in September, right? Her balance. What do we need to find it? We need all deposit totals and the original balance, right? How will I use the information? I will multiply the original amount by 3 and add the deposits, okay? So here's what we did. Her original balance was $156.15. By June, she saved three times that. So we multiply this by 3. 3 times 5 is 15. We carry the 1 and put the 5 down. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. 3 times 6 is 18. We carry the 1 and put the 8 down. 3 times 5 is 15 plus the 1 is 16. We carry the 1 and put the 6 down. And 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So we know that by June she had $468.45. Then between June and September she deposited this $322.10. So we just add it. 5 and 0 is 5. 4 and 1 is 5. 8 and 2 is 10. We carry the 1, put the 0 down. 1 and 6 and 2 is 9. And 4 and 3 is 7. So we know that by September, Lisa has got $790.55 in her checking account. Okay? Let's try one last one. Tala owed $4.50 to each of her three sisters. She had $20.75 saved from raking leaves for her neighbor. How much will she have left if she paid her sisters back and bought $1.60 of gum for herself? All right, so how much money does Tala have left from, from $20.75? Because that's how much she had saved from raking. She has to pay back three sisters each $4.50 and she bought gum. So this is how she's going to have to do it. She's going to have to multiply the $4.50 by 3 for each of her sisters. Then she's going to have to add the $1.60 for the gum. And then whatever that total was, she needs to subtract that from the $20.75, right? Okay, so here's her three sisters. She paid them back each the $4.50 plus the $1.60 for gum. $4.50 times three sisters. 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 5 is 15, carry the 1 and put the 5 down, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 more is 13. 
Now we have to add the gum. It's $1.60. 0 and 0 is 0. 6 and 5 is 11. We carry the 1 and put the 1 down. 1 and 3 and 1 is 5, and we drop the 1 down. So the total between paying our sisters back and buying the gum is $15.10. Now we need to find out what the balance is left from the $20.75. So we subtract it. 5 take away 0 is 5. 7 take away 1 is 6. 20 take away 15 is 5. So we know that she's got $5.65 left over from her leaf raking money. See? So in this one, we multiplied and added it and then subtracted it. In this one, we had to multiply it and then add it, and then in this one we had to multiply it and add it, didn't we? So there's different ways of doing problem solving with money. Just reread the word problem carefully and follow it and try to figure out what it is that you're supposed to find, what info you're going to need to find it, and how you're going to use that information. And the words in the problem are going to be clues because it'll say things like three times as much or four times more or she spent this much because you know when you spend you have less money right so i hope this is helpful i'll see you next video we're going to continue talking about decimals i'll see you bye